hero belonged to somebody who was homeless in California. He uh, was very well loved, but the person recognized he couldn't take the best care of him and ended up giving him to the rescue. <laughs> I'm Sarah, and this is Hero Story for GeoBeats. We live in BC in Canada. The rescue, they were able to foster him and then get him on his way up here due to overpopulation there with the shelter system. It's fairly common um, to get um, dogs specifically from California um, up in BC. Unfortunately, we don't have much information about his previous owner or what his life was like. The rescue did tell us that he was very well loved, just couldn't really take care of in the way that his owner felt like he deserved. I was working with the uh, homeless population here in my city, so it felt like a special connection. When we first met him, we took him for a little walk around the neighborhood. I knew instantly I loved him and I wanted him, but I didn't want to influence my husband's decision. And so I was like, what do you think about Hero? Do you think he would work for us? And my husband was very casual and he's like, I think he would probably be a good fit. And I was like, good, because I want him so bad and I love him. And my husband was like, and I love him too and I want him so bad. And both of us just didn't want to influence the other person's decision. <laughs> but we knew right away that he was our dog. He's really weird. He's like a velvety bag of rocks. He's so muscly and he's so jacked, but he's really like smooshy to touch. He's got so much extra skin on him and it just folds in the weirdest little places. You can't resist it. It's so soft and warm and it's just so fun. <laughs> but then he's super muscly at the same time. I don't know how those two things go together. Interestingly, he's got this white mark on his back and we realized a year after having him that it's the near perfect outline of a lake near our house. Let's go for a walk. He hates exercise of any kind. He'll get walked and then he's done and he wants to go home and go back to bed. Let's go for walkies. Hero doesn't really like to be outside. We think just because he spent his first couple years outside maybe. Sometimes he won't even like want to leave the driveway. We call it, he gets into his thoughts and feelings is what we refer to it as. The neighbors will come out and try to encourage Hero and be like, come on Hero, you can do it. If my husband picks him up and then carries him for a little bit and then puts him down again, and then he's like, oh, okay, we're good now. We're in a different spot. Sometimes we'll drive him a block away and then he'll go for a walk. He would love nothing more to spend the rest of his days on a couch with some blankets, but he's also extremely emotionally intelligent. It's a little bit unnerving sometimes how well he knows me. I had this really bad day at work and I came home and I was sitting on the floor and I was crying. And Hero came and he, he looked at me and he gave me this really strange look and he goes into the bathroom and he brings me the bath mat. When Hero is scared, going and laying on the bath mat is one of his safe places. And he was able to figure out somehow what I was feeling and brought me what brings him comfort. He's an American Staffy boxer mix, but then there's 10% that's unknown. And we think that's where his magic comes from. <laughs> you having fun, Hero? I feel like Hero and I are connected on this level that I didn't know was possible. Okay, come. Yes, we've had him for yes. six years, personally challenging nice. six years. I went through losing my dad and Hero was this constant thread of a little bit of good in some really, really bad days. He's just pure goodness. He's such an amazing gift. Speak. Oh. Yes. Every night he gets tucked in with his blankets. I tell him I love him and he's the bestest boy. He's a complete mama's boy. If my husband and I are in a disagreement and he can sense that I'm getting a little bit upset, he will bark at my husband. 